You know, we live in uncertain times. Times where, you know, trying to use video game mechanics like Invade become controversial. Where people want to, you know, say oh, it's bad to do that, it's bad to use video game mechanic. Uh, you know, they like to do the co-op video game mechanic, but suddenly if you use the Invade video game mechanic, oh, you're just the worst guy whatever lived and it's hard it's hard out there you go in and they make you bleed and they just bleed you out in a couple hits sometimes you know or they give you that frostbite they give you a cold uh, or, or they just shoot you with that magic and people oftentimes they start to wonder about uh, you know how what's it what's it even for sometimes you hit a guy and it seems like he didn't even notice you know uh, it's easy it's easy to lose faith in times like these. It's real easy. How, you know? Look at that. That fella, well, it took him a minute, but he got hit and it, look, he ain't even, what, you know? But what you gotta do is, you just gotta believe. And I find that the best way to believe is to open up the good book where it says it's time to get hard and get big for daddy. It's in the Bible, in a game that takes place in a world where a guy's body was so hot that he had to marry himself about it. It's okay to be a man or a woman who goes to the gym and just gets ripped up. It's important to be strong and to look in the mirror and your oily muscles and just see the reflection of yourself glistening across 1,000 lifetimes in a time frame, in a dimension outside of known space time because of how big and strong and thrusting you are, just thrusting repeatedly over and over again so hard that you send people into orbit, into outer space dimensions where they'll live forever as statues cold and frozen struck with horror in their eyes of the last visage of anything that they ever saw in this lifetime was just one miraculous hard body there thrusting them into the sky forever strong ripped thick body oh. it's exactly the type of build that I would that's that I like to play that's the that's the build that I I like I like to play that build I think it's fun you have a really big sword and you hit people with it and um, you know as far as I'm concerned uh, that's about uh, the coolest thing that you can do in a video game where there's swords and a mechanic where you can invade other players with your with your with your character, I think it's I think it's great. It's fantastic. Uh, this invasion right here, uh, really a lot of fun. These two guys were waiting for me at the top of the elevator, and uh, so I thought, well, I'll I'll get I'll go down the elevator. Maybe one of them decides to get on the elevator with me, and I can you know if I get them separated, if I get them separated be easier to beat one of them, right? Well, then they both get on the elevator with them. Because of course they do. So I'm like, dang. Well, this is going to be harder than I thought. And uh, one's got Moon Veil, so he can pressure from a distance. And the other is just staying right on me. Uh, which is fine and, and a good strategy. But he's not aware of his surroundings at all. Uh, so he gets absolutely bodied by this uh, Tim Burton-ass NASCAR. And then they go back up the elevator because they don't want to fight, uh, you know. Or they get, they go back to the elevator, I should say, because they don't want to fight the Tim Burton NASCAR uh, and myself. However, uh, old number ninety-nine, still right there. So they go up the elevator. Now I'm completely out of my flasks. I'm out of healing, and this is a little tip. Hey, here's a little tip, little learn to invade tip. Uh, this is not a good tip, I guess, but if the way I play the game is I'm willing to like fight, you know, 
I'm willing to fight two or three dudes or whatever. Uh, how they want, you know, just me versus them. Up until I run out of uh, my, my healing. And at that point, well, that changes, right? Now, if you want to kill me, I'm going to make you work for it. You can, I'll let you get me out of Estes. If I win, great. If I lose, okay. But uh, when it comes time to kill me, now I'm going to play like as big of a jerk as you guys are playing. And that's okay. We're not, you know, this is, if this is as jerky as we get, then, you know, this is barely being a jerk at all. However, they had summoned this uh, blue. And I know that if I beat this blue, I'm going to get some Estus back. And uh, blues are just what they are. They, they just are what they are. So I slap on the talisman that gives me more health back for every flask that I drink to really make the most out of that flask right there. And now it's time to go back and uh, fight these dudes. Now they saw the blue, you know, they could probably see the health bars. I've, I swear, I don't, I've not even done co-op yet. I don't know if other, if your teammates health bar shows up on the side of the screen like it used to. I don't know if it does that or not, to be honest with you. Um, but if it did and they saw their teammate, you know, maybe they thought, oh, we have to go save that guy. But it was too late. It was too late to save that guy. So back to the elevator we go. It's just one person. Now there's a second person at the top of the elevator blasting me with that magic spell. And uh, so I gotta listen for it. Heal. Now that he's out of... Now that he's out of, uh, you know, his thing, he goes to use a starlight shard to regain more mana. But it's too late. And now it's just me and the host all alone on the elevator. GG's. What a fun invasion. What a great invasion. That's, you know, that's a battle of wits is what that is. Anyway, there's the build. It ended up at level 79. Level 79. We are using the Golden Troll, uh, Golden Troll's Greatsword. And it's got Raptor of the Mists on it. Uh, we've got the Greatsword. And it's got Giant Hunt on it. And we are using, uh, the Watchdog Greatsword. And it has Earthshaker on it. And my weapons are... What were... Plus 15? Yeah, plus 15, I think. Actually, no, plus 14. I wanted to go to plus 15, and I intend to. I just haven't yet. So these these, these invasions all are... Uh, 79 plus 14. And Raptor of the Mist is really good on a Colossal Sword. Especially teamed up with the Claw Talisman. Um... But, it's better when you're not having to fight multiple people. Because you can be knocked out of that plunge attack that Raptor of the Mists gives you. Right? So if you're knocked out of the plunge attack, it didn't really do anything for you. Uh, it's, it's good against, like, uh, you know, one... If you get one person alone, and you can swap to that, especially if they're using something big. Um... Like if they're using a great sword, anything like that's that slow, where they're not going to be able to knock you out of your plunge attack before you take it. I really like that. Also, it's really, really good uh, for fighting bosses. It's really nice to fight the bosses with. Giant Hunt is uh, the space invader. It's great against uh, rivers of blood. You just have to space it correctly. It should look like this. That's perfect. That is, uh, that's what it does. It just says no. Just say no. Just refuse. Here's another little tip you can have for free. This one's free. You don't even gotta pay me. Maybe next time you see me, uh, you know, buy me a beer. Or a coffee. If you see me in line in front of you and you say, that's Saint Riot in front of me. Uh, or, no, behind me at the coffee shop. I'm going to I'm going to if you see like an interdimensional hollow knight Cthulhu standing in line behind you at the coffee shop, you know, maybe you could just buy my coffee. That'd be nice. Um or you could send me a pizza. Send me a pizza. 
That would be that would be cool. Anyway, this one's for free. You don't have to give me pizza or coffee uh, or subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, you don't have to do any of that. You can just have this one. I forgot what I was going to say, but it was going to be good. Whatever it was, the tip I was going to give you was going to be uh, fantastic. It was going to be life-changing. It was going to really turn things around for you, is what it was going to do. But I've forgotten what it was. And so it's gone. And you can't have it. Oh, here's one. This is different from the one I was going to say, but now you can have this one instead. When you watch myself, or probably any other, uh, you know, a lot of other invaders, um, you watch a, like a stream or a YouTube video or something, you might notice us trying to just beat everyone that's in the invasion. Like right now, I'm chasing this phantom. This isn't doing anything for me, by the way. My job is to beat that guy. And if, if his friends are content to just run away and they're not going to save him, right? Then I just need to beat him. But, as someone who has played these games for uh, a million years, it's, at this point, it's more fun for me to challenge myself, little mini-game, to see if I can beat all of them, and not just this guy. But remember, if you're just trying to win, your, your job is just to beat that one guy, not all of them. And it's easier to beat the one guy that you need to beat when his friends are there. Because when his friends are there, he's more likely to, you know, stand there and try and put up a fight, right? So, if that's the case, then that's the good time to beat them. The bad time to beat them is when they don't have any friends. Because when they don't have any friends, a lot of times they just run. And now they just run and, and spam and roll. And so it goes from being like, you know, 4% of the fight, they're in iframes, versus trying to beat them when 50% of the fight, they're in iframes. So yeah, this is an old trick, it's an old temp, but it checks out. Kill the host while they have phantoms. That's actually a little difficult to do sometimes, because a lot of these phantoms do insane damage. So don't take that advice as like, oh yeah, just run right in there and kill the host. That Because no, <laughs> no. Um, it's more about uh, like when you have that opening, right? You, you're, you're waiting for the host and the phantom to make a mistake at the same time. And they will make a mistake at the same time, eventually. Because typically, typically, the players who, who play together, they love to make mistakes at the same time. You'll notice that uh, my f weapons are all fire-infused. Um, I did some testing, and at this level, the fire-infused weapons hit harder than the heavy-infused weapons, unless my opponent is completely naked. And then, the heavy weapons hit harder than the fire weapons. I don't ask me. I don't know. But we, we did some testing, and that's what happened. So, uh, fire weapons it is. Fire-infused weapons. You'll notice that when we invade in uh, Laernia, it's raining, and so my damage actually goes down, which is something to consider. If you're fighting in water and you've got fire-infused weapons, obviously weapons uh, you're not going to do a lot of damage. But fire-infused weapons scale with strength, and strength is... Uh, I'm sorry, and fire is the way to go with this build, at this level, with these stats. I'm not sure how long that it holds up. I'm not sure when a good point to switch over to heavy infused is. I'm not sure. But, um... I do know that here, 
uh, fire is the way to go. Uh, another thing, I, I always, on my strong boy builds like this, I always keep uh, a Cestus on me. And the reason I keep a Cestus on me is because it's sort of like fitting with the character, this big strong muscle hunk, just punching people in the mouth. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that this is like the best thing to do. It just means that it's the thing that I think is cool looking. <laughs> big strong muscle hunk, punching people in the mouth. That's cool. But uh, you could put any weapon f on, on your build for this purpose. Something that can chase people. Uh, something that can hit quickly. Uh, and something that can still do pretty good damage uh, while people are running from you. But uh, it doesn't have to be fists. I went with the spiked Cestus because it has the bleed potential. Also, let's be real, it's a Cestus with nails in it. It just looks... It just looks it just looks cool. However, the ultimate chasing weapon is my uh my my twelve cylinder hammer. I love this thing. <laughs> It's hilarious. Look at that. How do you not love that? <laughs> like and subscribe. Later, y'all.